like to welcome you to this video where we're going to be talking about our air to water systems. I believe I made a video on this before, but this is a very important topic. And a lot of my customers spend thousands of dollars uh, trying to get a water system hooked up, but it's just so doggone expensive. Like for example, if you hook up to the city, some people have to pay anywhere from $4,000 to even $15,000 to get the water hooked up and then you got to pay monthly payments for your water to get pumped from the city. So it's a never ending headache because you're paying all this money and it's never going to stop having to spend money just to get your water from the city. The second thing is getting a well. Getting a well is unpredictable. A lot of well dr drillers, they say, well, uh, we don't exactly know how many feet, but they can project how many feet they've gone from other homes. But you won't know until the final bill comes in from the well digger. So it could be anywhere from $20,000 to even, I had one customer that said that they had a bill of over $200,000 for their well. It was absolutely ridiculous. So that's why we have the air to water systems like this machine you see right here on this page. Uh, we like using this unit called the dew stand where it basically can collect water out of humidity. It could do up to anywhere from um, 20 to 40 gallons a day uh, depends on the humidity you need to have a minimum of 30 percent humidity for this machine uh, if you have less than 30 percent it's a little harder but it could still possibly work a little bit but um, getting a machine like this is about ten thousand dollars and you're able to uh, collect about say 20 gallons a day and, uh, and as long as you have the solar running and this running all day and night, you're always able to collect water. And you can do this without ever having to pay for utilities ever again. That's the beauty about this. Now, um, but the thing is, if you want more than 20 gallons a day, you might want to have two machines. So say that your well is projected to cost $50,000, wouldn't it be worth only spend $20,000 on two of these machines and you are uh, collecting endless water every single day. So 40 gallons a day I think is pretty reasonable and uh, for you and your family. Uh, but the more you need, you know, probably the better uh, it'll get for you to have all the water needed for your home. Uh, now, how about, uh, there's another technology I'm looking at right now. It's uh, basically like a fog collector. If you look at this image here, these is nets that they use. Let me get another photo right here. It's, uh, it's a net that they install that basically collects the moisture out of the fog and it will drip down into an uh, irrigation, see if this photo has it. It'll drip down into an irrigation pipe and it will basically go into farms or anything else people may uh, want to get it into. Like uh, here's a, a photo of someone on, uh, in the crops there and so basically the water can drip down into the farms that they are producing these um, uh, the moisture from. And I've talked to the company here. They mainly work with government organizations to do this for humanitarian projects, but they are starting to work with commercial companies like mine. And so I'm trying to gain a relationship with these guys where what if we installed these with our container homes? This also can collect all the water you need as long as you get some humidity and fog in the area. And the cool thing is you never have to use electricity for this whatsoever. No electricity. So that's a winner compared to the dew stand. Um, but with this technology, you're gonna to need to have an area that has more fog and more humidity to collect from the air in order to, uh, to collect as much water as needed. But they've been going into desert climates and installing these for uh, third world countries to help people get the water that they need. So this is a new technology I would like to press into for our units. Here's another one that is similar to the dew stand this AWG contracting that we're looking into. So the owner of this company is called Moses West uh, from AWG Technology and uh, he has amazing technology where basically these air to water systems are made to collect waters even with a, a unit that is the size of a shipping container or uh, he can actually make an air to water system the size of a building. Because what he's trying to do 
because he wants to get clean water uh, produced out of air for communities, not just a, a single house or anything like that, but he's trying to get it made for communities. And it's really, really powerful. I've already talked to the company and they uh, do commercial companies like mine. And we're in the process of testing out his machine. I'm really excited about it. And it sounds like it's going to be producing possibly more water than uh, the dew stand, which is really impressive. Um, so I'm very excited to see how well this works out. So stay tuned. Um, I'll be sharing more about the AWG contracting technology and uh, because all we need is our solar. We already got it and it will power this and uh, we just need to see how it well does in the desert. And that's the thing I'm trying to do is the dew stand is great, but I need a technology that can collect water out of very little humidity. And this guy claims that we can actually collect water even in very remote dry climates and that's what we're going to try and test out with, with working with these guys so I'm very excited about that now um, this other one I I'm hesitant to share because it's so doggone expensive but there's some advantages to this there's a company called source uh, source.co and what they do is they actually this is like a solar panel that is mounted to a roof, the big box behind it. And you don't have to connect this to the power on your shipping container home. But what this does is its own independent system, where as long as the sun hits the solar panel, it will produce uh, moisture inside to collect water. And it collects about one gallon of water per day. Not very much. And the thing is, if it's one gallon of water per day uh, and it only works when the sun is out, that means you're not collecting water at night. So with companies like this or like this or like this or no, not that one yet or like this one, um, you collect water no matter what time of day, every all day, every day, these companies collect the water. This company only collects it with the sun and it's really hefty price tag you're looking at about twenty five hundred dollars per machine and they would like you to purchase a minimum of six so that means if you're doing twenty five hundred dollars times six you're spending a minimum for these machines that only produces six gallons a day that's really very expensive because uh, but the only thing is i don't have to call conduct more electricity for this it does it all on its own so that's the only advantage of this it does it all on its own without needing electricity from other sources because it produces its own from the sun but if it does get too cold then that means um, you're gonna have to uh, uh, this thing's gonna hibernate is what they say it shuts down and it hibernates if it gets below freezing so I have an idea on what I want to do where I want to build a greenhouse, a large greenhouse rather, that is uh, temperature controlled. So in the, even in the winter, if we had our machines inside the greenhouse, there's moisture that in there and we can basically still collect humidity out of the greenhouse in the winter so we don't have to worry about the freezing temperatures. So we have different ways we're going to be testing this out this winter to see how we can make this work out. So the last bit of technology I want to share with you guys, this is a concept. It hasn't been 100% invent, uh, invented yet. They have these prototypes that they put together, but it's a machine or it's a device that goes into the ground and it has a little turbine, a fan that spins in circles and it will collect moisture even in a desert and get you water from there. So it's a great life-saving device, it looks like, but it, they're just not there yet, 100%. But that would be cool if they come up with more where you just stick it in the ground and you can start collecting water. So that's what we've been researching. I'm very excited about everything we've looked at and uh, been working on. Um, Moses West, uh, this guy from AWG Contracting, I'm really impressed by him that I think this is the number one source I'm gonna to go to because 
half my customers are in the desert with very low humidity and I need a technology that can do that. But if we go with um, these guys, we need to make sure we have a good amount of humidity from that, but it's nice that you don't have to use power. And these guys, in my opinion, are out of the question. It's just too expensive. So, um, but let me know if you guys have any questions. Comment below if you know any other technologies that could work better. Um, we're trying to make this work because we're about survival or you know, being off grid. And we want a technology on our units that is always better. So I'm continually always trying to find something better. But again, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you on the next take. Thank you.